Where's the puppy, Grim? Zuko, what are you doing in Lila's kennel? Huh? You've never even been in a kennel until just now. Put yourself in there. It's pretty fitting because I'm going to do a video on kennel training. Hey guys, welcome to the doghouse or welcome back to the doghouse. My name is Jessica. I've got little Zuko here with me. Um, I wanted to started the video out with him already in a kennel, which he did himself. Um, but because I'm asked a lot of questions throughout the comment section of a lot of the videos, especially with the new puppy involved, um, I wanted to kind of go and do a little video here about kennel training. Um, a lot of people talk about my dog or my new puppy is tearing this up or that up or getting in the trash or um, not you know, they're using the bath, they're having accidents in the house or things like that. Well, my biggest, one of my biggest things and biggest pieces of advice to give any dog owner to kennel train them. And even if your adult dog doesn't need a kennel, they should be kennel trained. They should be comfortable in a kennel. I think they should always have one um, available to them pretty much at any time. But yeah, we'll go over that in just a moment and I'll kind of go over what I've been doing with Zuko because um, I know there's actually been a lot of feedback from people that are getting puppy, uh, Boston Terrier puppies, new puppies, but a lot of times, or a lot of them have been Boston Terrier puppies and also uh, people that have just gotten some new puppies, including new Boston Terrier puppies, which is just kind of um, cool. It's, kinda, it's relative, obviously, so that's nice. Um, that's always very exciting. Congratulations if you are one of those people or if you're watching this and you just got a new puppy and that's why you're watching this maybe. I don't know. We'll get right into it. If you are not already subscribed, do that. Hit that like button at the end of this video if you like it. Hit it now just to get that over with because it's got a little baby Zuko in it. So how can you not like it? Leave a comment down below. But anyways, we'll get into the video now. All right. So basically, I wanted to go over with well, Zuko. What are you doing? What are you itching your leg for? What are you itching your leg for? All right. So what I have here, uh, it's a little different than a kennel. So this is one of Zuko's puppy pens. I well, we had Lila, and then so we did puppy pens uh, with her. And it did, it did, it worked out really well. Um, and then eventually after a little bit with just a puppy pen, I did both the kennel and the puppy pen. So right now the puppy pen that's in our living room is this one here, it's just a, a plastic one. Gunner, Gunner. It's got a door to it that locks. Um, so that's kind of nice doesn't actually need cleaning that often. He's done really well with this. Not everybody or every puppy will be good with puppy pens. I specifically decided to do it with my small breed puppies um, just to start. So anyways, this has worked for him. It worked for Lila pretty well. He's actually doing a lot better with it than Lila is or did. Um, so of course, a little bit of water, he gets a different bed here and there, so that's the bed that's in there now. Yes, there is an abundance of toys right now. There's not always this many toys, and there will be less toys in and out throughout his time of having the pen because toys are valuable, and I would like to keep it that way. So I do eventually take them up slowly. So, because I don't, as you can see, we don't leave toys 24 hours laying around the house. Um, that's my personal preference doesn't always have to be what other people do. Anyways, um, so that's one of his pins. The other one is actually, he has three pins. No kennel just yet. Um, this will actually be his kennel, which this is so funny. He's not even really ever been locked in a kennel here. Uh, I believe he was at the breeder's house. Um, she starts kennel training at like four, like really early on, um, five weeks six weeks um, here and there they get she gets them used to an actual kind of like this so it's been a really good transition for him so anyways but here he's literally never been in a kennel and all of a sudden he's been starting just today he's started going in Lila's kennel um, but of course like I said I think everybody should have a kennel available we've got Lila's kennel there's two big kennels there water boxes uh, Dexter's kennel there he doesn't really need one um, but he 
has one. Um, and then Harvey, this is basically his kennel, but sometimes Grim and him switch where Harvey will go in the plastic crate and Grim will just be in the area when we're not here, but cause he's fine out loose here. Um, he's actually fine loose around the house too, but just for now, I like to make sure we're all in the kennel. Right, Lila? Especially Lila. Besides like kenneling, telling, like teaching a puppy to go in a kennel, which naturally he's already doing it. Not every dog is good in a kennel, um, which is where starting this as a puppy is important. So, um, and this guy, I will say, did not come here a fan of the kennel, but he literally got over that within 24 hours. Um, it was let, we let him know that uh, being bad in the kennel was not going to be tolerated, so he's good. Now I know that's not going to happen for every, every dog that's got some like serious behavior issues, but um, it's definitely doable for, I think, any dog um, with the right kind of work. Teaching a dog to go into a kennel is not the most important thing. Um, actual kennel training and putting them in the kennel and holding them accountable and just having them stay in the kennel and, and dealing with it and letting them just get used to the kennel is what's important. So um, I'm gonna show you, that's hard to show. I can't really show you that. That's days, weeks of dealing with a puppy crying and I think you just need to let them cry it out as long as you know they've gone potty, as long as you're getting up and you're making sure. I do have water bowls in my kennels now of my adult dogs, um, but I would not do that with a puppy. I do have a water bowl in his pen. It doesn't always have water in it though. Um, and he gets a very small amount of water because of his drinking issue where he drinks too much and sometimes can spit up a little too much and I don't like that. so. We try to avoid that. But with young puppies, definitely in housebreaking, this is going to be your tool for housebreaking. It's good. It's also just really important through life, and I'll talk about that more in just a minute. So I wanted to get him out, and we'll go over actually teaching a command with Crate. So I wanted to actually make it less comfortable, so I took everything out of it, everything out from over it. Um, and it's on the tile, which is actually kind of uh, obnoxious as well. I usually keep it on a rug. Um, this is not kennel training. This is just kennel, the, teaching the word kennel, the, command, the, the movement of going into the cage. So, or the, you know, the action of going into a kennel. So I have, he has not had his dinner yet. So I have kibble, just his puppy kibble. Um, for people that are gonna ask, I use, I feed Farmina. Um, mini puppy kibble and then I also have a couple of little pieces just a few of a higher quality food or no it's a higher value treat uh, little it's just like a jerky treat that I've ripped into really tiny pieces and it's a rabbit protein um, just, he's very into it he does he's definitely a fan so um, this is not kennel training this is teaching the command kennel which he has not done any form of so um, the first thing I'm going to do is not even say anything. Good boy. Good. He went all the way in. Not every puppy is going to be that willing. Good boy. I like his focus on me. Oh, puppy. I'm going to use the kibble. I like to keep him guessing, so I'll switch it up. But just kibble. I'm using the kibble right now. Good boy. Not even going to use the word kennel. Um, he's pretty stoked about kibble, so I'm going to use that. Once he actually starts to make, like, maybe make this decision on his own and understand it, I'm going to give him an even higher value, which will grab the little pieces of jerky. So go. Kibble. Uh, kennel training, to me, is putting it in a comfortable spot, covering it up, making it a den. Dogs are den animals. Oh, see that reluctantness? He was like, I'm not, I don't really want to go in there, but or step over the bar. So I'm also, you're going to see me treating him. I'm treating him for focusing on me because we're still, we still like to do that. So there's that. So go. Yes. So go kennel. Yes. I'll throw in the command there. Kennel. Yes. So I don't know if you noticed in the very beginning I was kind of luring. This is also, somebody has asked before, why is luring so important? Um, 
and actually having to teach a lure because otherwise it wouldn't follow me all the way in. So instead of going all the way in like this, good job. I start to, not everybody uh, can go this fast. Kennel, yes. Kennel, good boy. Kennel, yes. Obviously my word is kennel, you can use whatever you want. I used to use get in the cage, you use whatever. So I've actually, a friend of mine has used house. You can use bed, you can use this is your place, it doesn't matter the word. Kennel, good boy. Good. So some dogs don't, are fearful of it. Boy, not fearful at all. Uh, if your dog's fearful of the kennel, you can throw the kibble in. Um, I always start my puppies off or new dogs. I, I mean, because that's what they do now, but they all eat in their kennels anyways. Um, kennel, good. Puppies, it's good to start them out with eating in their kennel as well. Kind of helps make it a positive environment. Um, so one of the reasons why I think every single dog should be kennel trained, kennel, yes. So I like the idea of, I was treating him for just going in like this, yeah, like that and treating, but now I'm actually having him go in and turn around, kennel, and kind of like a millisecond of waiting and look at him, oh, I, I wish I could have got a treat to him faster. Cause look, he's staying in there. Okay, yay. He doesn't know, okay, but I throw it in. Because it's, we're just, eventually we'll get used to it as a release word. Kind of, oh boy. Spinning too fast. Um, but I think every dog should be kennel trained just because, um, good boy. Good boy, I'm catching him right before he comes out. Okay. Um, because there's gonna be a time in its life where it might actually kennel, need to be kenneled and crated. I've talked about this, I think, in a muzzling video. Good. Um, but as a vet tech for so many years and having to deal with hospitalized pets, what happens when our pets get older or injured? They go to the hospital and they're not in a nice little bed like when we go to the hospital. Good boy. Um, but I can't tell you how many dogs that were injured or just having to be hospitalized for whatever could, for whatever reason, flipped out in the kennel. There's just, it. They, sh they were never taught to be in a kennel. They were never um, just raised to be that way, which they should, which was very, very hard to treat them in the hospital. Made it very hard to make them comfortable in the, being hospitalized, uh, no matter what we did. Having to keep IVs on these dogs, which means you know, if they're flipping out in the cages, we have to either sedate or, which is not good, sometimes you can't sedate them because they're so sick, um, or they get their lines tied up, so they have to have special lines, they have to have e-collars, they can't have blankets, they have to have special, you know, wraps wrapped around them, and it's just, it's not, or things put on their legs to keep their arms straight and, you know, things like that. Oh. It's not good, it's not pretty, and it just doesn't help anybody. And your technicians don't just have your dog to deal with, okay? You know, they have six to 10, 15 more animals that, <laughs> what are you doing? That's what he does, he gets the tree, he gets a piece of kibble stuck between his lips. And also, there's the emergency situation. If you've gotta evacuate or any, anything like that, if you have to travel for some reason, if they gotta be boarded, Something happens to you and they gotta go somewhere that, that makes them be kennel. Don't you want them to be comfortable? I do. So I'd like my dogs to be prepared to have to be confined at some point for any good bowling. Any amount of time. Kennel. Good boy. Eager to jump in there. To go. Kennel. Kennel. Yes. Good boy, it's kind of loud, huh? 
Kennel. Yeah. But yeah, but kennel training, this is not, this is teaching the word kennel, the motion of going in it and coming out, um, which is important. But actual kind of kennel training takes time. It takes patience. Um, this is gonna be a really big deal for potty training your puppy or a new dog that's not potty trained. And it also depends on the dog. Sometimes wire crates just don't work for some dogs. Like Graham was never good in a wire crate like this. That's why he has the giant plastic airline crate. Um, when he was a puppy, I tried him in one of these and he just, it, he didn't like it. Even if I covered it, um, something about it was just not comforting to him. So I started him out in a airline crate right after a smaller one and he was he's been comfortable ever since so that's just for him he likes the airline crates the solid crates so i'd play around with it if you have a dog that doesn't like you think it doesn't like crates change the crate i'm all about putting beds in crates it's fine i think that's okay but if your dog eats things they need to come out because eating the blanket some dogs can pass it but some dogs will die from that that will kill your dog uh, kenneling to keep dogs off the counter. I can't believe how many people are like, my dog keeps getting in the trash or it tears up the pillows or it eats its dog bed. What do I do? Somebody I saw on, on the social media group, kennel, go oh away. They were like, I, some people were suggesting putting bitter apple on everything in their freaking house. And I'm like, put the dog in a crate. Get over yourself. I mean, whatever. You don't want to. You feel bad that they're being crated for a couple hours. That you're, when you can't watch them for their safety, but but the potential. Good boy. That weight was really good. I'm out of treats. But that weight of you know the possibility of your dog ending up in the hospital and needing surgery because it ate something out of the trash or it swallowed something around the house that it wasn't supposed to. Not cool. Like, that's not mean that your dog could need a major surgery that's going to make you broke or go into debt. Kennel your dog. All right, guys, that's going to kind of conclude this video with kennel training. Um, let's go heel stool. <laughs> Isn't he growing? Look, an ear is going up. That's cute. Oh. Uh, I put Lila's kennel back together. She's still in his pen right now though, which is funny because it was her pen, but she's totally fine going in. Whoa, as you go, going into it herself. Lila, she's very comfortable in there. <laughs> oh, he's very confused. She's in your pen, Zoo. <gasps> oh my goodness. What's she doing? So yeah, anyways, that concludes the um, kennel training. That was a little bit of like why I think everybody should kennel train. Um, at my house, it's matter of fact. So it's, I've really never, I shouldn't say that. I have had dogs that um, have had issues in the kennel, but they were fixed eventually. Yeah, it's not about making it a positive experience. I mean, it is to an extent, but it's also just, you're not gonna, don't tolerate any BS um, in the crate. You know, if they're crying and crying and crying, I am also, I am a huge fan of, to a certain point, you do have to allow them to uh, cry it out, kind of like babies, but that also is an age thing. I do not really tolerate adults that are just gonna carry on in a cage um, or a kennel, whatever you want to call it. Uh, but I don't, so I don't tolerate the adults when they do that kind of stuff. Um, a little bit is tolerated, oh, like to an extent, like if, you can pro if you're in a protest, whatever, if you're new, if you know better, eventually you will be corrected for that. That could mean um, a verbal correction, a very harsh verbal correction, um, or, you know, I do, I will hit the crate. Um, and then you will be just told to stop, knock it off. Um, I will, not with puppies, but I will turn also to the remote caller for kennel training if I need to. 
Um, I literally, that's how Gunner came in here because he was known for breaking out of the kennel. That is not acceptable. I've dealt with that before. It's very dangerous, not only because they can get out and get into stuff um, and destroy my house, which is my house, and I paid a lot of money for this house and things that aren't, not a lot of money, but like, the th we care about the things that are in our house, all right? So I don't feel like having to put walls back together and, and repaint everything and all that kind of fun stuff. Um, or have accidents around the house. Um, but also I've had dogs that when they didn't like the kennel and they tried to break out, they're injuring themselves. So that's not good either. So that's part of that's part of it too. Um, but Gunner, he, I put him in a kennel. I uh, role played it. So put an e-collar on him. First we kind of worked with the e-collar and then um, put him in the kettle, went out of sight. He started to kick the door and be a little vocal. He got a correction, made it suck to do that. Stopped, never did it again, ever. He's never done it again. Now he's probably better in the kennel than any of the other dogs, <laughs> actually, which is kind of funny, because um, the other ones have all done it since they were puppies. But, like Zuko. Zuko, you're enjoying that. This is actually gonna be his kennel once I'm in the process of getting Dexter a bigger kennel. I wanna get him the next size up. This is like the standard size, but yeah, I wanna get the next size up that has a side door because I want him to have more room. He's bigger and he's good in the kennel. He deserves it. And it's gonna actually take up that whole little, don't mind the laundry. Um, it's clean dog laundry. Uh, that whole piece right there of this room. So I'll have his own little, bigger crate area and then Lila will get his crate which is the same size as this one and then Mr. Zuko will get this one so um, I did talk about he had three pins so he's got his puppy pin here he's got a puppy pin in the bedroom with us where he sleeps he loves it it's a little bit smaller um, it's not the same and then he has a same thing that's in the bedroom at my work which is where he stays when I'm working he goes to work with me every day well not every day because I don't go to work every day I go to the my other job um, about twice a week, if not more, so. All right, Zuko, are you ready to be done? The, done of another, being the star of another video? Look at that ear going up. That's a good ear. Come on, let's sign off. All right, if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. See you guys in the comments if you have any questions. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram where you see daily of this face and everybody else's, um, hopefully. And then uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.